Hey, I just wanted to tell you about my little adventure running Windows 7 for the first time. I found an old drive, it's about 60 gigs, and I decided to clear it all out, and I was going to, originally I was going to install OS 10, the new hack version out, but then I thought, I should try Windows 7, give it a fair shake, it's the RC build, it's, I heard lots of good stuff, so, haven't used Windows as my primary desktop in about two and a half years. So I'm a little shaky on a few things. I got it installed, and my first take on it is looks good. Looks really good. Looks very much like uh, KDE4, but it looks good. But so does KDE4. Um, couldn't figure how to get online. Was a little perplexed by that. Then I realized it didn't have the drivers for my raw link wireless. So I was able to get those on my laptop, which, by the way, my laptop runs Ubuntu. My desktop runs Ubuntu. Um, I love Ubuntu. But anyways, back to Windows 7. So I get the drivers on, and I finally connect. No problem. Everything's smooth. I go on Internet Explorer, grab Firefox. Um, then the second hiccup I came across was my webcam. See, originally what I was going to do is I was going to capture this video in Windows 7 and then edit it in Windows Movie Maker to give it a, you know, a comparison versus Cheese and Caden Live. But um, after I got the drivers installed, it said that my USB wasn't fast enough to capture video. I got an error message saying um, this is a high-speed, high-quality USB device and that it's impossible to capture the video um, through my... my uh, USB interface, which is obviously not true because I'm capturing right now. At that point, going into uh, Windows Movie Maker to edit the video together just wasn't happening because no video. So, okay, whatever, put that aside. Then I decided running some programs I like running. Open Office, installed flawlessly. Um, I used uTorrent instead of uh, Deluge because it's Windows native. It's the, the more uh, popular of the one. And that worked pretty good. The torrents were a little slower than I'm used to, but that's that's not a big deal. But then I tried installing um, um, Xbox Media Center, which, if anyone's played with Xbox Media Center, is like the 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 most awesome um, media center you can get your hands on. It's it's beautiful. But then it pops up and it says no GL acceleration, no OpenGL. My card has OpenGL, so I figured Microsoft probably stripped that out of their version of the driver. So I had to go online, find the drivers for my NVIDIA, put them in, and then at that point, at that point, Xbox Media Center ran like, like a charm. I heard from several sources to say Xbox Media Center does not run on Vista or Windows 7, but the download itself says XP and Vista, and I ran it on 7, and it ran beautifully. So, if anybody wants to run, make a media center out of Windows 7, Xbox Media Center is probably your best bet. It's pretty awesome. Of course, I don't think it's really called Xbox Media Center anymore. It's XBMC, but to me, it's always going to be Xbox Media Center. But that was my uh, that was my little foray into uh, Windows 7. I'm probably going to flatten the hard drive, though, and put something else in it, if anything at all. Maybe I'll just put a bunch of videos in it. I don't know. But anyways, that's uh that's my review, my little tiny tiny little review.